Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. John Crump is out there in the, uh, in, you know, in the chat there. He says, you have die on and don't tell me. So, yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing he watches. Yeah, it's a good thing. Exactly. I totally agree with you. So there you go. Um, so how many, I mean, you know, after you said that thing, how many people reached out to you? Like, what was the whole reaction from that? Who did you, did you immediately start hearing from folks out there? Did you start I, getting requests to do interviews and stuff like when that? When you pick your phone up, did you hear Fernie <laughs> click clicks and stuff? Like, Yeah, no yeah. kidding. Right. Um, that's, uh, I did get a lot, I, a lot of people reached out to me through social media just saying, you know, way to go, way to go, way to go. And I'd say about eh, um, 99% of my, re the response from the C-SPAN, you know, from people that was following was from our crowd. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I had already set up uh, that the day of, I had been set up with CBS Sunday morning to do a piece uh, the following week. And um, that piece on CBS Sunday Morning was about basically about corporate um, censorship for guns mm -hmm. and uh, activism, corporate activism is what mm -hmm. uh, they called it. And uh, that piece, I got a lot of hate from, you know, the normal everyday American watches CBS uh, Sunday morning, they don't watch C-SPAN. So wait unless a minute, wait a minute, wait a go minute. ahead. <laughs> normal, normal everyday Americans don't watch CBS. <laughs> <laughs> Only the, I, I can't. Uh, no, I, the haters, I, the haters watch it, and I got mm -hmm. a lot more flack. Mm -hmm. You know, you should go kill yourself and die. Yeah. And well, so. yeah, all the the people, the the people are all, uh, you know, the the, the caring people. Yeah, 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 the tolerant. Yeah. All inclusive you, folks. Yes. Yeah. Do you still get hate comments on your social media platforms? No, no. It was a, it was a splash, and uh, and then you know it's back to back to normal. So yeah. no big deal. Yeah. But you know, I figure I keep I keep raising my head that it, you know it's going to be, uh, it's if we had the thirty six million dollar budget of Moms Demand Action, and that was last year, I think Bloomberg's pledged sixty million dollars. Mm -hmm. You know, if we had that kind of budget, um, I, I just, I, I just feel like the machine, the propaganda machine, is so big, and these, you know, grassroots people like me and Joanna, who are who are truthful and genuine, and we're not astroturf, um, we we get drowned out. So. Uh, yeah, I would love for I I can't wait to follow up with Joanna and see if uh, isn't there a way to partner going forward. I'm working on it. I'm working on a, a campaign called um, Teal for Two A, mm -hmm. and uh, and I'm just encouraging everybody from the firearms community, all the women specifically, to jump in, get involved. I don't care if you're NRA, GOA. Uh, any kind of alphabet soup. I just want everybody to start pushing that teal color, show up to local events, festivals, hearings, uh, rallies, whatever it may be. I just want to see a, a sea of teal as opposed to the sea of red. Oh, okay. So it's just going to be the color teal? Yeah, like oh. a blue teal color. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're not getting any other things thrown in there, like just a little you know, symbols, or we don't want don't to get into that? Well, of course, the DC project has <laughs> the DC project has an educate, not legislate okay. shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, DC project info mm -hmm. has a shop if somebody's interested in that. But those mm -hmm. shirts are great conversation starters, and they're they ha they do have a DCP logo on the back. But it's not about the DC project; it's about mm -hmm. really starting a conversation. And I want everybody, regardless of where they come from in the firearms industry, to be able to unite behind that educate not legislate message and uh, get behind this uh, campaign that's teal for 2A. Okay, very cool. Well, uh, keep us posted Without with that. Huh? Without that $30 million budget, we all have to kind of congeal together and, and mm -hmm. uh, join our forces. Yeah, so let's talk about that for a second. You know, I think that's a good point that you bring up, that the other side of this conversation has a lot of money funding them um, and, and I'm pretty sure the firearms industry probably doesn't have as much money 
as your Bloombergs and, and all these and your Soruses and all these other guys out there. But how come there isn't more money to help get the message out there? What's what do you think's the reason for that? I don't know. I surely there has to be people that love the Constitution that have money. Um, I just think maybe that we're conservative for by nature for a reason. You know, uh, we don't just. Uh, go throwing our money around, but I feel like this is a worthy cause. Our Constitution, our country is a worthy cause. So, you know, if there's any anti Bloomberg money listening to us right now, I'm sure that uh, you've got two grassroots activists right here, uh, ready and willing to to move fo- move the ball forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, go I ahead. I want to say with uh, the you know why isn't there more money in on this side? Um, it, it has a lot to do with the, like you said, the conservative person, you know, typically we tend to focus on, you know, capitalism and, and our own personal American dream. And that's why we've lost a lot of ground when it comes to like in, uh, education or, you know, we sit back and say, well, look at where we are with schools or, or you know, we've lost universities to liberalism and not all these, you know, ideas away from what, you know, is constitutional. Um, and it's really because we we haven't as a, as a, you know, as a movement, made the effort, made the time to, you know, get into things like our PTA or things like our at our local, you know, um, communities to build up that community. So that's mm-hmm. why activism at this point, it's trying to get some of that ground back. And like mm-hmm. Diana was saying, education is where we're going to make it happen. Mm-hmm. Um, engage, you have yeah. to, we have to engage our base and whether mm-hmm. it be um, whether, you know, the, I'm just watching, basically I watch moms demand action and I do everything that I, I want to do everything that they do. So they're mm-hmm. signing up people through students for, uh, the students demand action. They're signing up people mm-hmm. to vote. Uh, they are being very, very vocal when it comes to meeting with their legislators, which is kind of what we do already. Mm-hmm. But, you know, constitutionally sound people are going to have to put a priority on, running for office some of these people are getting voted in and there's nobody running against them Mm -hmm. so it's not that it's not that the gop or uh even the independents are getting beat it's that there's nobody running against them so uh i feel like aoc has lowered the bar quite a bit (laughs) (laughs) and she she swept she she swept uh uh, well she swept her primaries in new york city if I if I got the pass that she did, um, I would run for office. But uh, yeah. I feel like I I I'm a little bit more self aware that I don't want to look stupid and mm-hmm. you know on topics that I don't know about. She doesn't mind. So, yeah. um, but but really I do encourage someone someone from our side to step outside your comfort zone. And if you don't want to run for office, you have to volunteer with a campaign. If uh, you know whether it be local, uh, state, or federal. Uh, you, we just have to get in the game. Yeah, I mean, listen, I've only been talking to you here for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes or so. You definitely are uh, way above intelligence level, I think, um, than what we're dealing with with AOC. But, you know, I, I agree with this side of the message. I think that um, for us, a lot of times we don't fight fire with fire. Oh, this oh is, right. Yeah, this is one of the biggest saying, problems we have. Yeah, you're seeing that in this guerrilla warfare that, mm. uh, let's take Trump's rally. I don't know if you guys are Trumpers or not, but um, Trump's rally in Tulsa last weekend, uh, everybody is hailing it as a huge flop and blah, blah, blah. Well, here's my concern, is it wasn't a huge flop. They just outgamed us. They they used guerrilla warfare, things mm-hmm. that we had never mm-hmm. seen before. Yeah, TikTok. Uh, you, <laughs> using TikTok and reserving, yeah. you know, uh, upping the numbers and yeah. creating, you know, us spending money to try to facilitate that. Well, then, I mean, I'm from Tulsa. I can tell you that I've heard from police officers that tell me kind of what happened on the ground. Mm-hmm. And basically the screeners, the health screeners, they left at six o'clock. You have an hour window before uh, the speeches start that the, the, that the gates shut down because of the health screeners. And I don't know who's in charge of the health screeners, but if it's the BOK where the event was held or if it was independent, but they just up and left so nobody else could come in. Um, wow. Yeah, so there was definitely uh, just underhanded things going on to uh, interfere in an election. I mean, if these people were Russians, I, could we not impeach some people? Because that's, you know, who is suppressing? Of all the screaming and right, 
I bet they do about Trump. Yeah. Of you know, well, so Nancy Pelosi and those guys were hailing what they did. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. 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 brilliant that, move. That was one of Fox Fox News's highest ratings night ever. His yeah. view, viewership when, when he's when he was on Fox News. So yeah, mm-hmm. they had like seven or eight million uh, viewing that night. The highest mm-hmm. ratings in uh, any Saturday night of any history of Fox News. Yeah. Plus, the more people, there were millions more that were streaming. Mm-hmm. But right, right. you know, can you honestly blame them? Uh, people who were you don't want to go. Wanna, yeah, because I heard that there was a ton of protesters and violence. Mm-hmm. Like, would you if you had a family and you had kids, would you not be afraid of going? Right. You know, it's just it yeah. was just. Yeah. Oh, that's I'm another. Saying. That's another thing that needs to be dealt with. Yeah. You right. can't. You can't let these people run the show. Are they gonna? They're gonna get. It's gonna get worse and worse right up to the election. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, these liberal cities are letting the kids run the household. That's for sure. So. Mm-hmm. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.